Hi metal lovers and creators of strong images. So in this video I will show you how to go from this to this with maintaining all the details. So I did this with Photoshop in an automated way with minimal individual work and the retouch was done metal style so I tried to keep it natural, strong and not try not to go overboard with all which you can do which I will also show you in the video. Now let's go into this right after the intro. You want to retouch images fast and maintain a natural look and all the details and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So I've got this photo as an example, a license from Invato Elements. They're not sponsoring this video, just to let you know where I get the stuff from. And as you can see, the, it's a pretty natural portrait, but the model has got some issues on the skin. Okay, so imagine this is one photo of a series you did shooting employees of a company, for example, and this job you didn't get the budget for intense, high quality uh, retouching, so you have to do it fast, despite the fact you have to maintain high quality, since you do not intend to deliver, deliver photos that look like having a cheap Instagram filter applied. Okay, so now, the technique in this video makes use of different applications of the Vivid Light Blend Mode. We will work with two major steps, taking the maximum advantage of the Vivid Light Blend Mode. So, major step one is as follows. First thing to do is create a copy of the base layer by pulling it over the plus icon, then invert the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command I, then change the Blend Mode to Vivid Light then go to Filters, Other, High Pass, and now zoom in a little bit. So we will not concentrate on these two big blemishes like this one and this one. We keep them for later. So increase the radius to a value where all the blemishes you want to remove or to disappear have disappeared. So in most cases, in the resolutions I'm using is between 20 and 30. So we will stick with 21.9 for this scenario. So apply. And now go to filters again, blur, Gaussian blur. Now, funny enough, it's very blurred with 173.6 pixels, but it's sharp. Okay, so you have to decrease the blur value to get it more blurry, funny enough. So now we are going to reduce it until the blemishes are gone, plus we are maintaining enough details. So for me it's 9.5 9 is fine, but it's personal taste, so you can play around with that. So now we have completed the setup of part one, so the major, one of the two major steps I was talking about. And uh, as you can see, it's looking very soft right now. So to make sure that we apply it only to the areas we intend to, we are going to apply a layer mask and invert it again. So you can apply layer mask by clicking this icon and inversion is the same like before, pressing Command or Control I. And I'm using a brush right now. I put it at 10% flow most of the time so I can control it pretty well. And then I simply brush in make sure that it's it's white. I brush in the automated effect where I want it to be applied. So over here, a little bit on the chin. So I'm trying to avoid the eyes and all hair, so I'm not softening up the, the hair too much. So and as you can see, these larger blemishes are not working so we have to remove them now. You can also do this before, it really depends on the kind of workflow you are deciding for your own. So I simply use the repair tool, so that's this one over here. So this area looks fine. So I'm sampling from this area and I simply brush it over. Same over here, this is a pretty sharp one I'm trying to remove and this is also one I'm I'm removing. So this completes the major step one of this video. So if you zoom in you will see that it looks a little bit soft here and there and now we are going to reintroduce the details as I explained before and we will use the vivid light blend mode again, a variation compared to what we did before. You could sharpen it by standard sharpening methods but 
the uh, te uh, technique I'm going to show you carves out the details a little bit better. So just a remark, if you enjoyed this video so far, a subscription and a thumbs up would be highly appreciated, since I'm working pretty hard uh, on getting this channel going to make, uh, to be able to produce more videos like that. Okay, so let's go to major step two. What we are now going to do, we are going to reintroduce the details we have lost. And uh, that's also done by using the vivid light layer again. So what you have to do is we need a copy, an actual copy of the status as is. So create a new layer, then go to image, apply image. And it's important that you click OK here. So that's the standard um, settings I'm using, merged, RGB, etc. So we've applied the layer. Then we need a second copy for of this layer, so copy it by pulling it over the plus. So this copy we, we just had is actually copying the status we just retouched, to the one you can see on screen. Now, since we have to uh, apply two different um, blend modes, put these two layers into a group. The top layer inverted again. Put to vivid light again. And then the blend mode of the group set this one to overlay. As you will see, nothing happens. So if I disable this group or enable it, nothing changes. Okay? So now click on the uh, or, or select the uh, vivid light layer. Go to filters again. We will we are going to apply a blur again. So you can use the Gaussian blur if you want to have a little bit more control. You can also use the the, uh, the surface blur. So now, as you can see, it's pretty harsh, right? So we had a very very tough uh, sharpening, concentrating on the details. So I will reduce that to the smallest value, and now slightly increase it until. I like the details that are coming back. So let's check how 2.7 looks. Oh, it's great. So I will zoom in a bit. So if you simply take a look at these details over here, soft, and that's pretty sharp. You're getting very nice details. Also, the eyes are sharpened very nicely. So the Difference is that the the details the this vivid light method is working out or carving out is a little bit more detailed than if you would apply a standard sharpening method. So I stick with 2.7, apply, and let's check the before and after. So that's before, that's after. I'll make it a little bit larger. So before, after, before. After, what we can also do in addition, we could re could reduce the, um, sorry for that one, the red a little bit. So I just make sure it's outside of the group I created. So I'm just using a hue saturation layer, selecting red. Then I will select the red over here. And just to, to visualize what I'm done, I have done, I increase the saturation and now I'm going to the, the minus tool over here and I pick the best color, skin color I can find. So I choose this area, set it to zero again and now I'm going into this field and using the arrow up crease until I like it. So it's plus seven. If you want to uh, make it a little bit more natural, you can go to the mask again, invert it, and then we simply brush in the red reduction where it makes sense. Okay, so that's the retouching technique I wanted to show you. That's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and this is a very natural example. So as I promised before, I will also show you an example where we go overboard a little bit more. So that's a female portrait and I prepared it already. So this will go very quick. So that's the before. Then that's step number one where I apply the softening layer. As you can see, 
it's uh, I retouched it much stronger, so it's much softer. And then we are going to I will switch on the the layer I did the um, the sharpening the detail reintroduction with. So let's I show you. So that's before after details are coming back before after. And uh, what I did over here, I just used a mask because the details up on the front of the nose uh, were a little bit too too tough or too too strong for my um, taste. So I softened it a bit. Okay, so that's without the mask, with the mask. And then I also did some dodge and burning on the nose and some skin correction. So uh, let me show you again before, after, before, after. Okay, done. So this was a sub five minute retouching. So I hope you really enjoy this technique. You liked it. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, etc. Go crazy in the comment section. And until then, see you in the next video and never forget to listen to more heavy metal.